Everyone knows about Matthew Shepard, at least you know the name. Matthew Shepard was murdered a number of years ago. He was murdered brutally, and there's certainly no happiness about that. And by the way, there's no happiness about hate. Uh, understand or misquote me. We're talking about the distortion of information. Matthew Shepard was a young gay man who was brutally murdered by two other young men. And the story was that he was, uh, they murdered him because he was gay and he became a martyr for the gay movement. In fact, the hate crimes bill was passed with his name attached to it. Uh, Bill Clinton jumped all over this and the New York Times took it and run, ran with a story and told us all kinds of things about Matthew Shepard. But probably, in fact, they created a play called The Laramie Project that was uh, shown, it still is, in high schools, even in junior highs across the country, the story of Matthew Shepard, except Wait a second. It wasn't true. It wasn't true. We know now because a book that just came out last week written by gay author Stephen Jimenez, and by the way, this book was featured in The Advocate, which is arguably the nation's most influential gay publication, featured this book, and now we know the story was a complete fraud. Matthew Shepard was gay, Matthew Shepard was murdered by these two boys, but it was a drug deal gone bad. Matthew Shepard, according to this author, and according to, I remember the police record actually so showed some of this, but you never heard about this, not in the media, that uh, Matthew Shepard had actually cheated them on a drug deal, at least they thought that he had, they were very mad, and they actually had had sex with him. They were not upset that he was gay. They also either were gay or bisexual. This is part of the story. And so... The fairy tale was spun around the tragic life of Matthew Shepard, and it was made up. It was lies, all lies.